Hi, welcome to Grade 2 Math with Mrs. Farrington. Today, we are going to be looking at patterns. Now, patterns are everywhere, all around us. Even our breathing is a pattern. So we're going to look at different types of patterns. Are you ready? Awesome. Let's get into it. So, what is a pattern? A pattern is something that follows a rule while repeating or changing. Patterns can be numbers 5, 10, 15, 20. Patterns can be shapes, square, circle, square, circle, square. Patterns can be objects. Look at the beautiful Junkanoo costume. There's a color pattern. As you can see, there are only certain colors used in the costume. And there are many different patterns in the triangles also in the oranges. Patterns can be actions. Look at the ballet dancers. Ballet position one, ballet position two, then ballet position three. They will continue this several times creating a pattern which will be called a dance. Patterns can be even games like patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. We can have a clapping game that creates a pattern. So let's dig a little deeper into patterns. The first set of patterns that we are going to look at are Pictorial patterns. Pictorial patterns are made with, you guessed it, pictures. So let's look at some. We have a cylinder, triangle, a cylinder, triangle, a cylinder, and triangle. Then a cylinder so we see a pattern there let's look at another one mango another juicy mango avocado sweet eleuthera pineapple mango another juicy mango and what would be next an avocado so we see the pattern here. Mango, mango, avocado, pineapple. Mango, mango, avocado. Let's look at another pictorial pattern. It's the blue marlin, our national fish. Followed by the pink flamingo, our national bird. Ooh, yellow elder, our national flower and the strong lignum vitae, our national tree. Another blue marlin. Oh, a pink flamingo. So what's next? Good job, yellow elder. So what would be after this? You got it, the lignum vitae. So we just used our national symbols to create a pattern. Blue Malin, Pink Flamingo, Yellow Elder, and Lignum Vitae. In that order. Give yourselves two snaps. Good job. You're really getting this. Let's look some more. So our next patterns are action patterns. What do you think that means? 
action patterns are patterns made by performing a specific set of actions. Have you ever seen mommy or daddy do the electric slide? Ask them to show you. It's a pattern. Let's look. His hands are on his head. His hands are on his shoulders. Her hands are on her knees. Her hands are on her toes. She's pointing to her toes. Head. Shoulder. Are you seeing this? Knees. Toes. What will be next? Head. You guessed it, shoulder, knees, and toes. Do you know this song? Heads, shoulders, knees, and toes. Heads, shoulders, knees, and toes. It's a pattern. We sing it several times so we know what comes next. Let's look at another one. Clap. Clap. Stump. Clap, clap, stump. What's next? Clap. And finally, clap. So we see in this pattern, it's very predictable and easy to catch on too. So even Making sounds using our body parts, we can create patterns. Awesome job. Wonderful. I'm very proud of you. Give yourselves two more snaps. The next type of patterns are number patterns. Number patterns can repeat. For example, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. What should be next? One. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and we start it again. One, two, three, four, five. Number patterns can grow or get bigger. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 35, what's next? 40, and then 45. Each number got bigger by five. Good job. Number patterns can also shrink or get smaller. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. We just counted down or backwards. So each number got smaller by one. That's a pattern also. You're doing excellent. So thank you for paying attention. You've done really well today. This has been grade two math with Mrs. Farrington. Until next time, take care.